out, check out this video. Strong storms moving through the area. First, these very ominous clouds. Uh, that was from Sebastian River area. And then the rain and the wind. This is from Claudio in Wellington and those earlier pictures sent in by Laura. So thank you to our weather spotters for sending in this video so we can show the viewers at home uh, what's happening out there. And Fred Brandt sent in this lightning strike from Hobe Sound. Quite impressive right there. We had two major rounds of showers and storms today. Uh, multiple severe thunderstorm warnings. Fortunately, no damage reports. We did have a wind gust at the airport of 55 miles per hour, so some of those storms really meant business. In fact, late tonight, we have just the extreme northeastern corner of Indian River County under a special weather statement for this uh, storm moving through and should be pushing offshore in about the next half hour, but you can see some activity now pushing into Sebring, so we can't rule out the possibility of some isolated storms overnight, especially for the Treasure Coast, but nothing like we saw this afternoon, not until perhaps early morning Sunday. I'm going to show you two models because they're a little bit different and the models haven't been too excellent about placing uh, the storms and the timing, but it gives you the idea that we're going to stay very unsettled tomorrow and really we could see rain at any time. So this model brings in the rain pretty strong early in the morning, puts it over Stewart right around 7 o'clock, then into the Palm Beaches by 9 o'clock. It's weakening and then we get another little round about mid afternoon pushing south and one more uh, round late night on Sunday through the Treasure Coast Stewart at midnight so you can see intermittent showers and storms throughout the day. Now let me show you uh, this model and it's a little bit different showing the activity a little more spotty than the other model. This is 3 a.m. This is 630 in the morning take you to 9 a.m. Gives you the indication we're going to see a lot of clouds a lot of showers and storms tomorrow and some of those storms could be strong to severe. We're under a level one out of level five, so we'll be keeping a close eye to the sky for you and letting you know if anything does bear watching. Well, in the tropics, this bears watching, of course. It is perhaps our next name storm. This area of showers and storms located a couple hundred miles to the southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands, moving to the west, northwest about 15 to 20. Right now it's moving westerly, but in time it'll take a little bit of a jog to the west, northwest. So here is the forecast uh, model showing that it's headed out through the central Atlantic and this is where uh, conditions will be very conducive for development. Right now it has an 80% chance of developing in the next seven days. So the spaghetti models uh, in good agreement moving it west for a long time. Some of the models uh, bring it right towards the Lesser Antilles and you can see the American model curves it north before it ever hits the Caribbean basin. So too early to tell right now. We'll be watching it each and every day for you. Next name on the list will be Brett. For tonight, 75 degrees. Isolated storms will be possible. Winds out of the southwest at 15. Then tomorrow, hot and humid for Father's Day, 92 degrees. Breezy too, with a 70% chance of intermittent showers and storms. Seas 2 to 4. Inland waters will find a moderate chop. And here is your 7-day forecast. For Dad's Day, it is going to be hot. Maybe Dad just wants to stay inside in the AC with a 70% chance of showers and storms. Storms likely Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, summer begins 91 and we stay unsettled right through the week into next weekend.